right guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so today i think what we're going to do is we did a lot of work on the um place here i just want to add um those lights to that one room and then what we can do is we can go and explore something a little bit different now i can't remember what room it actually was um was it downstairs or maybe it was downstairs over this way yeah that one all right, so what I used was a combination of the these things. I just kind of made, basically made them um, like little lamps that could be placed on things. And we'll put one over here. That'll, that should brighten this area up a little bit. Then we can put one maybe in that corner. Right. and then maybe one by the door as well so that should help and then what we do what I did before was I just kind of shrunk this down so we can walk under it and then I kind of centered it in the little tiles here just so it was kind of brightened up the ceiling a little bit and that just kind of gave the overall effect of it being a little bit brighter so yeah outside of that um, that can wait we can decorate that later I'm not too worried about it uh, let's go ahead and head on out. Uh, we'll see if we can't go to another system. Or we could fly around for a bit. And then see if we can't find any structures nearby, maybe. Not sure if there's anything that's actually worth noting. <laughs> and of course there's a weather warning. Ooh, what's that? Huh. Okay, so let's head on out. Uh, we'll probably go to our spaceship then. There's a weather warning coming in, but they don't you know, usually last that long, so maybe we can just fly around a little bit. We'll see if we can't. Um, just kind of see what there is around here. There might not be anything, to tell you the truth, but we can do a quick scan. See if there's anything. Kind of see still. I don't know. Uh, maybe we should go on out to space. Just wanted to kind of know if there's anything around here worth noting. Or hey, what is that? Oh, that's one of those tech things. Actually, we haven't been to the space anomaly.
Alrighty then. So I organized some of our inventory stuff just a little bit so we have a little bit cleaned up uh, so we can do some extra stuff. Our exosuit, we actually can sell a couple things uh, in this inventory. I noticed that we have a cargo bulkhead so we'll add that to our ship and then we can put these over here. We can sell those because we already have tons of them. Um, actually, you know why? Um, let's give them away because we have raided a couple stations, and I think this will help with the um, rep if we have extras. So, let's see for what we. How many uh, Corvax do we have? We have three, so we can probably make back what we raided easily with that because we did a couple of those missions as well. So offer them a gift. And we'll do that three times for these ones and then we need to figure out where a Gek is and a Viking. Okay, so that should be that one. Uh, we have six for Viking and five for Gex. So let's see if we can find one of those little lizard creatures. A couple of them on this. I don't see a Viking here though. Yeah, we don't have a Viking here, but we can probably give this one away. So we have, I think, five of these? Can't remember. So I think we have like five, so we'll be able to give five of these away. And we leveled up on the Corvax as well. Okay, just check our inventory. Yep, okay, that's good. Um, yeah, so we'll have to go to another station, but before we go, Let's go ahead and grab some trading stuff. I'm not sure. We're, this will kind of debate where we travel to for sure. So, okay. So let's see what, what kind of station do we need to go to? So we need to go to a trading station. That's good because we have trading, um, other trading resources that we need to attend to. So we can do that uh, right now, actually. Let's go to our ship and then we'll head on out. Uh, we might need to charge up our, um...
So we did go to another uh, system, and uh, there's a uh, black hole here. So I thought we might be able to travel a little bit further closer to the center of the uh, universe if we used it. So thought I would do that. But um, one of the things that I did want to work on before we did go ahead and do that is the upper floor. Now, a lot of this is... Um, going to need to be destroyed so we can move stuff around but um, what do we have here we have a uh, trading terminal I took out the uh, storage already on those two sides so we can basically work on that a little bit better but let's tell you the truth we can probably get rid of that that this. And we're not using the trade terminal at the moment. And we can probably get rid of that as well. Okay, and then that leaves the furnace room, so. We just remove those. And we should have extra resources. Yeah, so we have extra resources on our ship now. So we'll be able to build maybe a furnace room on this floor and some other stuff. But we need to clean up this area first so we can actually build there. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to remove pretty much all this. Good. Um, I'm not sure if this is the original spot for the uh, thing. I'll have to go through the portal room and take a look. Now, I think down, that goes down. So if we remove that one, then we'll be able to get by here just fine. Because we already have stairs going down. And then we can put extra rooms on these sides, I think. That would work fine. So... Trying to see. So there's one here, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four.
Alright, so what we got done today was I checked the area over here and we didn't have the uh, science or building center. So what I did is I checked the other side. It's just the control stations. So what I did was I went over here. I cleaned up those little paths on the side so it's a little bit easier to walk through. And then I put the builder on this side. We can decorate this room later on. And then on this side, I put the science guy. So next floor, we'll have the, uh, I think the, oh, what is it? The, um, uh, I can't remember what it's called. The uh, mechanic and like the exo suit guy and the other guy, the weaponsmith. And then we have our storage on right back here. So all our storage uh, compartments for the freighter are on that side. That just goes to the other side. There isn't any windows or anything like that yet. Um, going upstairs, we need to go this way and then turn right. Or pardon me, left. And then go left again and then we go up. Now the one problem with these uh, stairs is they can't be placed on top of each other. So we'll have to... Um, do alternate sides when going up between floors that's not a huge issue this side isn't finished yet but if we want to go up again then what we need to do is go on to this side which is facing the same direction so we don't need to cross over or anything like that and it will go up to the next floor um, but back here what I did was I put in the another room and in these rooms, I have the furnace rooms. So there's a total of, I think, like 10 furnaces. So if we need to smelt stuff, there won't be any problem. We have tons of capacity for smelting a bunch of things. And that just goes to the front of the ship. So over here is basically the front. I think I might be able to put a window in somewhere around here to kind of spice it up a little bit. Yeah, we could probably put a window right here that would look really good but uh yeah outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out